Ape. The coastal hamlet lies 30 kilometers off the N2 between Albertina and Riversdale along the Garden Route. Recent discoveries of caves in the area have scientists speculating that it could be the birthplace of modern human beings about 100,000 years ago. A turn off from the N2 and you'll discover a town with an ancient history and two national heritage sites. One of them is the Blombos Cave. Inhabited by Homo sapiens in the Middle Stone Age, it's the world's oldest modern human settlement. Archaeologists have discovered, amongst others, cave art, marine shell beads and bone and stone tools dating back 100,000 years. The cave itself is off-limits to visitors due to constant archaeological activity, but they can get an idea of what's in it by visiting the Blombos Museum. Profound scientists now allege that it's very likely that modern cognitive human beings started here. Yes, we've got the cradle of humankind near Johannesburg, but those are older versions of hominids. But the modern human being that we would recognize, they may have originated here. On the western side of the town's coastline is another historical treasure. These are ancient fish traps thought to have been built by early ancestors of the Khoi people, a brilliant design to harvest food from the sea. The fish traps are now in a protected marine area and a national heritage site. The fish traps are all built in a half moon shape with specific rocks that were stacked in a certain way so there's a natural flow of water. They didn't want the rocks to be too densely packed and to form pools. The water needs to flow through, so the fish that aren't caught can go back into the ocean. Besides the rich history of the area, visitors can also enjoy the pristine beaches and the Khoko River which runs through the town. The scenic area makes it a sought-after holiday destination for local and international visitors. Something that I love is the aromas in the fields, the faint boss, and the town has expanded tremendously. The people are so friendly. Everywhere you go, you feel at home. People talk to you, tell you stories. That is what makes the town so nice. It keeps us here. We should have gone back home already, but we're still here. Another venue which has the distinct Still Bay stamp on it is a local distillery. Locally manufactured gin and other products are made from the Feinbos growing in the area. Visitors also get a chance to make and bottle their own gin. Using the ingredients that had such a significant um, impact on our survival 150,000 years ago here and using those ingredients to create a product that would be able to you know, sit on a dining room table or you know, next to the braai outside and people can talk about what's in that bottle and what it is that unites us rather than just the product and what better than gin. For those interested to learn more about the fame boss of the area, the Tain op de Brac Botanical Garden is the place to go. The area has one of the richest and smallest floral biomes, with plants growing nowhere else on the planet. With ancient archaeological discoveries, awe-inspiring scenery and a unique distillery experience, this town is definitely worth putting on your bucket list. Segui Chetty, SABC News, Still Bay in the Western Cape. Still Bay, that's next on my bucket list. Well, sports news coming up.